Good afternoon. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to go over another comment and question that I got in my original construction loan video. If you haven't seen the first video I made on construction loans, I will leave a link in the description below. Be sure to check it out if you're thinking about buying land or building a house. A lot of good information in there. It may help you out. I wanted to make a video about this comment and question. I think I cover some stuff in this video that I did not cover in the first construction loan video. The comment and question comes from Bruce O'Donnell. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for your comment and your question. Thank you for the info. The part that I get confused on is if I own the land outright, and let's say my construction loan is $480,000, and after the appraisal comes back, the land and home together appraise at $540,000. What will my loan amount be, and what kind of down payment am I looking at? Where does the equity in my land come to play? That may be something that I I didn't really explain in the first construction video. How important is it to have equity in the land? I'm going to read through my response and expand on that a little bit. We're also going to do some math. Hopefully I can give you a good example and show you this in a pretty simple way. Of course, I start with my disclaimer. Please keep in mind that I'm not a lender or financial advisor. I am in fact a truck driver and this is pretty confusing to me. I'm just really trying to explain this in a simple way to help people out. When we were building our house, it was very confusing. I may not always use the exact terminology or have the right definition. Just keep that in mind. I think that the construction loan amount will only be $480,000. If that is what the contract says he needs and the property appraises for enough, then he will get the $480,000. In the example, he said that the land and the house plan appraised for $540,000. So that means it appraises for enough and he should be able to get the $480,000 construction loan. I am assuming that the construction loan lender will put some type of lien on the paid off land during construction so the land can't be sold until after construction is complete. When the construction is complete, you have to get a mortgage to replace the construction loan. Then then the land on the lien. The land on the lien. I'm reading this and I still can't get it right. When you get a mortgage to replace the construction loan, the lien on the land would be released. Or actually, the mortgage lender would put a new lien on the property. Obviously, your mortgage is going to be on the house and the land. Your land would no longer be paid off. So, in the question, he asked, where does the equity come into play? Well, now we're going to get into that. The equity is good for you, the construction loan lender, and the mortgage loan lender. In his example, his land is completely paid off. Since he has so much equity in the land, the construction loan lender is more likely to give you a construction loan because they will be in a good position to sell the property if he defaults on the loan. If you're looking to get a construction loan to build on some property, you're probably going to need some cash or you're going to need equity in the land. Uh, the equity or the cash will kind of balance each other out and you'll be able to see that hopefully when we get up here to the math. Your house plan and land appraised for $540,000. The construction loan lender sees $540,000 as 100% of the value. Now in my response, I said 100% of the loan, but uh, the construction loan lender sees the 540,000, that is 100% of the value. You only need $480,000 to build the house. But the total value, that $540,000, that's very important to the bank or to the lender. So let's do some division here. $480,000 divided by $540,000, it's 88.89%. So $480,000 is 88.89% of $540,000. Even though in this example, he needs to borrow 100% of the construction loan, he needs to borrow all of the $480,000. He's only borrowing 88.89% of the value, right? Because the value is $540,000. 
that is where the equity in the land really helps you out. If that land was not paid off, you might be borrowing 100% of the value or 110%, and the lender's not going to go for that. So when you go do this division, at least in his example, you can see he doesn't need to borrow 100% of the value. He needs to borrow 88.89%. Getting back into my response, some lenders may not give you 100% financing. Even if you have great credit, some lenders will not give you 100% financing. They might only give you 95% or 90%. As long as he finds a lender that will let him borrow at least 90% of the value, then he's good to go because he only needs 88.89%. Now see, this is very confusing, especially for me. The best thing you can do if you are really interested in construction loans, you need to talk to a real lender. Go to a bank, go to a construction loan lender, give them your numbers, your construction costs, your land value, how much you owe on the land. Give them all of your real numbers and let them work out the math and show you what's really going on. It gets confusing. You're borrowing 100% of the construction cost, but when you do the division, at least in this example, you're only borrowing 88.89% of the value. Also, because in this example, he has so much equity because the land is paid off and he's borrowing less than 90% of the value, I don't think he's gonna need to put any money down. So he could basically walk into this construction loan with no money down, except he's probably gonna have to pay closing costs though. I know for regular mortgages, especially FHA loans, they can sometimes roll the closing cost into the mortgage. I don't know if they do that for construction loans. I know for ours they did not do that. So while he may walk into this deal with nothing down, he may have to pay Pay closing costs on the construction loan. And closing costs, that could be anywhere from $5,000, $10,000, or even more. Uh, it really depends, I guess, on the terms of the loan, how much money you're borrowing. If you don't have any equity or you don't have enough equity in your property, you're probably going to have to have a lot of cash. Another thing that the equity in the land is good for is it will help you when the project is all complete and it's time to get the mortgage. In this example, after the project is complete, he should have about 11% in equity for the land and the new house. This might help when you go get a mortgage because you're not borrowing 100% of the value. At least in this example, he's borrowing around 89% of the value. That might open up different options, uh, different types of mortgages, if you're trying to get 100% financing, you may have to go with something like an FHA backed loan, or you just may be limited to the types of mortgages that you can get. Another thing that this equity can help you with is PMI, private mortgage insurance. Now, as far as I know, the loan to value has to be at 80% or lower in order to not pay PMI. So in this example, if he got a mortgage for 89% loan to value, he's still gonna have to pay PMI. But if he had enough equity in the property or he had some cash to put with it and then he was only borrowing 80% instead of 89%, most likely he would not be paying the private mortgage insurance and that can lower your house payment. A PMI, a lot of times it might be $100 or $200 a month. It might even be more than that. I made a video about our house payment going up $500 over the last year and a half because of taxes and we currently are paying PMI. So if we had enough equity and had that lower house payment, that would really help right now. Okay, hopefully I am done with this video. This is actually the second time I've done this video. I recorded this thing last weekend and spent several days editing it and it was a disaster. So here I am recording it again. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. If you made it this far in my video, thank you for watching.